There's a new treasure hunt event coming live in game tomorrow and today we're going to reveal all the details about it and we're also going to talk about some of the bugs that came in with the update yesterday including the overgrowth bug which is a slight nerf to root rider spam attacks. The treasure hunt event will start in game tomorrow and it's a cool way to obtain rewards. So when you go attack a base, there's going to be three buildings on the base with this chest icon on it. However, only one of them have a chest in it. So you see, we took down the first one there, got a red X and then we take down the second one and we get a chest. Every 48 hours, your chest will reset. So I believe you can get three chests within those 48 hours. So we got the chest here. We're going to click that claim reward button. So click it and open and you're gonna see here we've gotten a common chest so there are different levels of chests there's common rare epic and legendary so because this is a common one we're getting some pretty simple rewards just some clan capital worth noting some of the time when you go to click claim reward it will take you to your star bonus screen first but don't worry it will take you to your chest straight after yet again i got another common one here it's worth noting i only got common equipments when i tried this it's clearly the most frequent type of rarity i mean that's what common is right but don't get too excited thinking you're going to get crazy ones worth noting the magic snacks are what you're going to be finding in these uh chests as well you can't get them anywhere else in the game so another common chest here that i'm going to be opening and i believe i get 512,000 elixir from it which pretty handy i mean i'd rather have it than not so it's a cool little thing just rewarding people for doing attacks but i want to talk in more depth about the treasure hunt event right here um and i'm gonna do it whilst we're doing a warden charge at rocket loon attack if you're wondering what are the best attack strategies to use at town hall 16 yesterday we did a video on the top five attack strategies this one featured at number four it is my favorite though but you can uh you know use some of the other top three ones if you watch the video and see what is the strongest but let's talk about these chests because essentially they're loot boxes for those of you don't who don't know loot boxes loot boxes is kind of in a lot of the most popular games uh in the world really uh csgo is very very famous for it um i'm i don't really keep up with a lot of the top top games i don't know if league of legends and stuff have it but i know for instance world of tanks also has a similar thing uh, and i believe rocket league has its own version called crates so it's pretty common and I don't like them as a concept because it it in it opens the potential for buying them. Now, if you can purchase these tr uh, chests, then I'm so not for this because it it's just gambling. That is what it is. You are gambling, um, and a lot of the time you won't be aware of how much money you're using. It's not really any different to going to the pokies. Now, I mess up my fireball here. Well, I don't mess it up, but I'm trying to target the multi-inferno uh, so that I can get the CC down. But look, the warden is not interested in going for the multi-inferno. I envis the gold storage, so he'd path towards the multi. But yeah, took his time. And there we go. We finally get that down. Worth noting, I took down one of the chest icons and it didn't give me the chest yet. Uh, we're still looking in the other two. Anyways, as I was saying, not really for gambling, particularly in a game like Clash of Clans that's very much, uh, well, not as much these days, but it was aimed at kids. I still think it is a little bit aimed at kids. And look at that. The next chest icon wasn't good for us, so we know where the chest is going to be. It's going to be up by that ground bow. So... I believe I asked Supercell about it and they aren't planning to. This is just for a short event. I believe it's 20 days. Uh, so the 11th to the 30th of this month, they'll be looking at doing this event. And as long as it just you get chests from multiplayer attacks, I think this is a cool event, right? We're just rewarding people for doing attacks. Like I said, you get three every 48 hours. That's plenty of time to get attacks on. And you get some pretty cool rewards for it. For instance, in the legendary chests, you can get some insane rewards. You can get hero equipment. You can get uh, hammers. Hammers. You can even get decorations and skins as well. I think some of the decorations won't even be in the legendary ones. They'll be in the rare. But yeah, you can get some really sick rewards just for attacking. And, you know, I'm all for that. As long as this doesn't get monetized, pretty cool event in my opinion. But 
let me know what you guys think of the chess slash loot boxes entering Clash of Clans. Now let's talk about some of the unintended gameplay changes that came in with the update and something you need to be aware of, particularly if you use the overgrowth spell. So let's have a look at this here. We're going to put the overgrowth down the bottom. So it goes down at three minutes. We know the overgrowth now lasts 25 seconds and it does last 25 seconds, but there is a aspect of the overgrowth that now lasts 28 seconds. And yes, you aren't going to be able to abuse this because this is hurting your strategy. So I'm just trying to in, uh, kind of educate you all about the unintended side effect that's coming. So you're going to say any second now the battle ends. And look at this. We cannot damage any of the buildings for three seconds. So the overgrowth is still is lasting 25 seconds, but the building's invincibility is lasting 28 seconds, which is a huge nerf to the overgrowth spell because we can't damage the building for three seconds. And yeah, it is a bit silly, particularly if you're timing your rocket spear, your king ability or your giant arrow for when the overgrowth ends. Another unintended gameplay change, but I think will stay, but I think Supercell will be more than happy with it, is Builder Hut. So you see the Builder Hut here is in range of the DE storage. Now, I'm going to put my queen right here. And look, so she's damaging the storage. The builder comes and uh, repairs it. But when I put the invis down on the storage, the builder can't see it anymore. Now, I'm pretty sure pre-update, a builder could heal a building even if it was invisible because it's only invisible to the attackers, not the defenders. But it looks like builder huts cannot, or builders cannot heal defenses that are invisible. And that's actually kind of important for your fireball, particularly those of you who do the super witch attack strategy. Uh, you might see TK is going to do a video on this strategy on the channel tomorrow, uh, you will see that it does make a slight difference. But now I want to hear your opinion in the comments section below. What do you think of the update? So both my accounts are in the 5700s of Legends League. It's kind of the top 1000. And look at my defenses. I'm getting a whole bunch of defenses post-update. Now people will adjust and eventually start tripling more. But look at pre-update right here. I'm getting tripled so much. And it's the same on my other account. Where pre-update I was getting tripled a lot, a lot, a lot, even though I was trying my best to change my base every day. But then post-update, look at this, my first defense post-update and it's a minus 13. Then we get a minus 14, being tripled since. But I kind of like it, I just feel like I have a chance on defense. Don't get me wrong, the ones that are still tripling are still wrecking my base. The meta is still definitely quite easy. But it, I just feel like I have a chance now if an opponent makes a mistake and... Don't even have the supercharged buildings yet, so we'll see if they make a difference. But I want your opinions down below on both the treasure hunt event and the uh, and the meta post update. Are you happier with it? Do you think they should have gone harder? Have they gone too hard? Are you struggling? I want your opinions so that when I make these videos, I have a better understanding of what our community wants from these changes. Like I mentioned earlier, if you want to see the top 5 attack strategies at Town Hall 16 post-update, we'll link that video on the left and make sure you're subscribed to the channel because tomorrow TK is going to show you Super Witch Druid Fireball with the Earthquake Boots and the Spiky Ball. He's been crushing bases with it. Then the day after, I'm going to show you this army that I'm using here, the Warden Charge Fireball that I'm doing in Legends League and crushing bases with. These are two of the best attack strategies post-update, and they're heaps of fun.